Welcome to spring semester 2022. I get to be your professor this semester. My name is Sar Joachim. You should just call me Dr. J. My name is Sahar, which means the first light after a darkness. It's Farsi. My parents are both immigrants from Iran. They moved here to America, and I was born in Los Angeles, California. That's where I lived for 23 years before I moved to St. Louis, Missouri. I moved to St. Louis in 2015 for grad school. I finished my master's and my PhD in philosophy in St. Louis. That's why I left California, the ocean, all my friends and family, and I've been working at St. Louis Community College for about a year after graduating with my doctorate. I've been studying philosophy for a very long time, including topics like theology and religion, studying Eastern and Western religions, and I am so excited that I get to teach it to you this semester. This semester we're going to talk about a lot of pretty serious concepts like God and angels, heaven and hell, the right way to live, the right person to be, the right practices, the right holidays. We're going to talk about what exists and doesn't exist. We're going to get into some pretty deep conversations. It's really important to me that you keep an open mind listening to people who are expressing ideas with which you disagree. It's also very important to me that no matter what you say, you are being respectful. I'm not here to brainwash you into believing something is true or to release a belief that you do have. I'm here to teach you and to show you what other people think, to help you clarify your own thoughts and to bring to your conscious mind some intentional beliefs. So I'm going to make sure that I am valuing and respecting the cultures and customs and ideas and beliefs and lifestyles that are different than mine. And as my student this semester, I'm going to expect that you too will be respectful of these other ideas. I am Iranian American. My parents are immigrants from Iran. I speak English and Farsi and I'm pretty good at Spanish. I've traveled to several different countries in my very short time alive and I've been exposed to a lot of different ways of life. So as we are thinking about different ways of doing things, I'm going to ask, I'll say it one more time, that you remain respectful of ideas that are different than yours. This semester is going to be open to change because we're living in some pretty um, unpredictable times. But for the most part, you can expect a pretty consistent way of doing things. I've put in a lot of thought into the syllabus. The syllabus is a document which outlines all of your reading materials, all of your homework, all of your assignments, all of your due dates, and each assignment has a rubric. A rubric tells you for the assignment exactly how to earn every single point. So you'll be able to see for the course exactly how to earn every single point. Two of my goals for this semester include that one, you get an A, and that two, you learn about religion. So if you do everything on the syllabus, then I guarantee that you will not only get an A, but you will also learn. Those are my two goals for the course. I recommend that you very early on, in fact, like right now, read the entire syllabus and make sure that you're up for this challenge. It's going to involve a lot of writing, a lot of thinking, a lot of reading, a lot of watching YouTube videos like this one. To help make sure that you are learning the concepts, I make YouTube videos and I make them so that you will be able to use them as a study guide. So say I have you read something about monotheism or about animalism or about Confucianism or about the ways to be Islamic or about the death of Mohammed. Say we've got these things I'm having you learn about. I make YouTube videos going over the important concepts so that you would be able to hear something over and over and over again. Like this YouTube video, all of the YouTube videos, remember, you can speed them up. You can slow them down. You can put the words on the screen. You could translate all of my words into your own native language using cool YouTube techniques. So these videos are made for you and it kind of ensures that you have 
no excuse not to learn this semester. So long as you have Wi-Fi, you'll be able to get onto YouTube and watch these videos where I'm literally going to go over different ideas. So while you're sitting down using the bathroom, while you're on a treadmill, while you're driving, you can hear and or watch these YouTube videos going over the concepts that we're learning during the course. This course is going to have you work independently. It's going to have you work in groups. It's going to have you work with me. I want you to make sure that you are up for this challenge. So please read the syllabus. Look at what I am asking you to do. And if you are unwilling or unable at this time to do those things, then I recommend that you drop the course. There is a deadline of, I think, April 15th where you would be able to drop the course without having it show up as a fail or a D or something on your transcript. But if you already know that this is not a course for you, then please drop now and save everybody time. You will still be able to access me on this YouTube channel if you're just not ready to do the work. There will be a lot of work in this class almost every single week of all 16 weeks, you will be expected to read or watch something, to think about it, and then to tell us your thoughts about it. Also requiring you to tell us your original views and to engage with your peers. And I am absolutely serious about that respect thing, whether we are in person or if we are communicating on the discussion board of Blackboard, I will make sure that everyone who remains in the class deserves to remain in the class. The best way to contact me is by email. Please feel free to reach out to me by email at any point during the 16-week class, even on weekdays, even on evenings. This is my dream job. I am so excited I get to be a professor. I will respond to all of your emails within two days at the most. And I'm happy to help you with anything that you need. Have I said everything? Well, if there's anything left to be said, please reach out to me by email.